Hey, I'm Chris. And I'm Lindsay. And welcome to our big backyard at the Roger Williams Park Zoo. And today we're going to be building fairy houses. A fairy house is also called a gnome home or a mouse house or a toad abode. It's found items in nature that you put together to make little houses from sticks or leaves or grasses or bark. Fairy houses can be built anywhere. You can build them in the woods, at the beach, in a city, even in your own backyard. Anywhere you can find natural materials is a great place to build a fairy house. When out in the woods, always be mindful of what you're collecting. Never take too much of any one thing. Be mindful of poison ivy and ticks, and never disturb an animal's home. Okay, so take a look at this. First off, this is what I noticed right away. This piece of wood that has fallen. It's nice and hollowed out. I think I can do something cool with that. This is neat. Some color. Some beautiful green maple leaf seeds right here. This is really neat. A cool oak leaf that's fallen on the ground. And I got some bark over here. Bark would be perfect for my shelter. My little fairy house. Alright, I'm getting loaded up with stuff right here. And maybe I'll take a little bit of just some ground cover. All right, I'm good to go. When in the city, always be mindful of where you are. Never go on a road and make sure the natural materials are not from someone's garden. Find a public garden or park near you and pick up the natural things you find. But remember to leave enough for other people to enjoy. See, you don't need to be in the woods to find really awesome stuff for your fairy house. Even in a city, I found some dandelion leaves, a dandelion, some mushrooms, um, even a really cool rock. Okay. Now that we have all of our materials for building our fairy houses, it's time to build. Where are you going to build? I think I'm going to build over there. Okay, I think then I'll go that way. Excellent. All right, let's go. When building your fairy houses, there's only two rules to remember. Follow your imagination. And have go. fun. I cannot wait to show you my fairy house. It looks so cool. Can't so, wait to see it. It's cool. So here it is. So this is what I did. So right here is my pathway coming in. I used those, those seed pods to make a pathway. And I have like a flag post over here and an archway. This is the main house with the living room. And this is their home theater system. So there's like what? a stage over here. They call it Maple Leaf Theater. And we have stadium seating here for people and bugs and fairies and gnomes and little mice to sit at. And so yeah, this is my fairy house. Pretty cool. That's you awesome. like it? I love it. Yay. Can I go see your fairy house? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh my God. This is your fairy house? Yes. This is the coolest fairy house ever. <laughs> It's super cool. So this is like the summer cottage um, of this little fairy family that lives here. And this is my mushroom pathway and it's got guardian uh, pine cones and a big rock so that you know you got to belong when you go in here. You come up and this is my little leaf welcome mat. Um, and then inside it's nice and comfort and cushy so that they can take a seat and not hurt themselves. Um, and they have nice coverings above them to protect them from the sun. And this is their really cool, uh, huge bush that they have next to their house. That is the coolest fairy house ever. High five on that one. Well done. We hope you like the fairy houses we built in our big backyard. We had a lot of fun making them today. And we hope you go out and make your own fairy houses and you can share pictures of them with us on the zoo's Facebook page. We'll see you this summer at Hasbro's or Big Backyard. Bye!